This is always a funny time of the year. We're all coming out of that holiday haze. We're all thinking, did that really happen? And did I, did I use my visa at a place called Vincent's Tub of Fish and Go-Karts, Inc.? And, and did Canada Post come out and say they were stopping all home delivery in cities? Yes, yes, they did. I remember now, December the 11th, the day after the House of Commons closed for Christmas so nobody could ask the Prime Minister about it. And then, the next day, Peter Van Loan came out and suggested that anyone in a city that got home delivery was basically a spoiled rich person unlike a hard-working rural Canadian. Ah, is there any issue in this country that our government can't deal with by pitting Canadians against one another? And then, the head of Canada Post, when he was asked how this would affect people in cities who are seniors and disabled and don't drive cars, he said without irony, seniors like to remain active. So this, this will force them to exercise. Ah, there's Canada's problem in a nutshell right there. Lazy seniors. Look at the weather we've been having this past month. Now, let's, let's round up all the seniors every morning, throw them outside, march them to a super mailbox and a kilometer back, see who makes it. Survival of the fittest. There's an action plan. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these super mailboxes will be so good for the seniors and the disabled, they'll start to resemble those shrines we see at, at Lourdes or St. Joseph's Oratory in Montreal. <laughs> Next to each super mailbox, frozen in the ice, will be piles of crutches, scooters, and walkers <laughs> belonging to those who have been cured or perished. What I want to know is, where is the debate in this country? Where is the discussion? This involves five million households. What are the options? What about home delivery three days a week? What about home delivery just for the seniors and just for the disabled? The customer is always right, but the owner calls the shots. In this case, Canadians, we're both. We deserve to be consulted.